Hi, welcome to Mad Max channel. So, we're going to do a unboxing of this bad boy. It's the MSI RTX 2070 Super. It's the twin fan one. Now, if you wonder why I've got myself this card, is because my old GTX 1070, not exactly a bad card, but when you're pushing 2K monitor resolutions with it, it's kind of running hot and it's struggling depending on certain games. It's time to replace it. It has a blower fan with an awful cool on it. Cooling block. Pathetic cooling block, I might as well point out. Yes, it's an MSI card and I've had an MSI before that. So this year being the third MSI card. I've not had many problems with MSI graphic cards. It's one of the reasons I've still go for them. I've had a couple of Asus ones, but you know. Anyway, I might as well just talk about the specifications of the box before I start. Oh God, do you really want me to read out all the features? Okay, fine. Ray tracing cores, yay! So I can play Quake 2 ray tracing. Yes, I have got that down as a score. I have done a couple of game tests and yes, that's down as one of them. Tensor cores. NVIDIA DLSS, uh, Adaptive Scaling, GeForce Experience, Anzo, Highlights, G-Sync Compatible, NVIDIA GPU Boost, MV-Link, SLI Ready, Game Ready Drivers, God sake, uh, Microsoft DirectX 12, 2 Ray Tracing? Why have you done a number one smaller? Vulkan um, Display Ports, Oh, 1.4 HDMI 2.0B, HDCP 2.2, VR Ready, I don't know why it even bothers saying VR Ready, uh, PCI Express compliant motherboard with dual width 2016, a power supply of 650 watts greater, okay, sure, uh, 1.5 gigabyte available hard drive space, 8 gigabyte system memory, 16 recommended, which is fine. I've got 16. Uh, Windows 10, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, it even still supports Windows 7, one of, one of these cards. Uh, one 6 pin, one 8 pin. Supplementary power connector. So this has obviously got 8 gigabyte of DDR6. 6? Cool. Didn't even realise we were on that number already. Uh, so it's got 3 display ports and 1 HDMI port on it. Okay, so it's all happy about its Torx fans and stuff like that. Uh, nothing interesting there, nothing interesting there. And it's just got all its usual bingy bingy bobs on the back there. And loads of different languages on the bottom. I shall ignore that. So, let's just have a look inside of it, shall we? So, looking at the box. Da, 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 da. Box away. So, thank you for choosing a MSI product. You're welcome. Uh, it comes with an envelope. Hey, he's got a driver disc in it. A game disc in it. Anything interesting in it. No. Right, okay, so we have how to install it. Well, if you're kind of spending, you know, like nearly 500 quid on a graphics card, chances are, you kind of know how to install one. Installation guide. What? Really? Another one? Oh, right, okay. This is not regarding the graphics card. This is regarding the graphic card support bar. Mm. And this thing comes with a comic book. I'm not joking. It comes literally with a comic book. And I'll take how to install it. You must be joking. I'm not, I'm not joking. There's this little devil dude here who's trying the do's and don'ts on installing it. Still isn't a graphic card disc. Ooh, other MSI products. Keyboard, mouses and monitors. Right, so we come to the main product. So we have, boom. We have a bracket here. This here, I'll show, show you in more detail, 
is a graphic card support bracket. It's actually quite an interesting looking bracket, if I'm honest. And I just really wish that light hadn't have turned off. Um, is that just a sticker? Is that? No, no, it's actual. It's, it's obviously metal. And what they decided is that you use the case screws, which would be the two screws underneath it to support the weight. It's got these two rubber things here to hold the weight off the graphics card on it. Good idea. Must mean that the graphic card must weigh a ton. Hmm. And it does. It weighs literally a ton. Mm. Excuse me while I destaticize and stuff. Right. Oh boy, does she wear some? And well, just joking. Am <laughs> I giving someone a heart attack? So this here is the port section of it. It's yeah, it's metal. It's got its ports, and the ports are labelled. I do find it funny that it says Display Port HMI Display Display. Why not just do Display 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 HMI? You know, someone with an OCD might have a problem with that. There's a lot of metal weight on this. And this is where, temporarily, you will work. There we are. And here's the fans. For some reason, it has a stick on here. Play hard, stay silent. <laughs> yes, apparently, this thing here is capable of doing light work without actually the fans having to run. That doesn't surprise me, this thing weighs a ton holding it like that. Ooh, ah yes, RGB lighting on here. Not that that's totally necessary, and I love the black plate. That looks like a piece of solid stainless steel. It is. That is. Yeah, yeah. That is. I don't know how to describe that, but it's like a knife. I like. Right, so the power connectors for this one, because, Jesus. Uh, for the power connectors are on this side, on the front, so you will have obvious power cables, unless, of course, you get one of these PCI Express power router things. And that is some beefy heat sink. But I do find it funny it says it's two slot. That, to me, is two and a little bit of a slot cooler. The fans aren't actually that deep, but there are cool features on them. Ooh, more things to peel off them. The stickers on the fan themselves to peel off. Uh, not stickers, you know, no. Stuff you peel off. So yes, I will, in a minute, do the scores between this and the GTX 1070. And I will also remember to chuck in a, a case of kind of run crisis. Why not? Because I can. And, oh boy. Yeah, I think I'll give that a, a miss for a minute in time. So, what I shall do now is cut to the next section where I bring you the scores. Right, okay, back with the results of the graphic card. So, the GTX 1070 did, in Far Cry 5, 64 frames per second. So you would think that with the RTX 2070 Super, it would have a lot more. Actually, I don't know what it was, but it only did 70. Something tells me CPU might be throttling it back a little bit. Um, so Shadow of a Tomb Raider. A very similar situation. 40 frames per second on the GTX 1070. 51 frames with the 2070. Yet again, you could tell the CPU load is hopping here and everywhere. Now, I did for some reason the test with World of Warships. Turns out World of Warships has a frame limit cap of 76, so 76 on both of them. Terminator Resistance, the new one. In game, it had round about. 45 frames per second with the GTX 1070. Whereas, and this is one where it's obvious that it's not being heard about the CPU, 
We'll do RTX 2070, 108. That's an improvement. The biggest <laughs> improvement came with Quake 2 RTX out of all the possible things. So with the GTX 1070, I was getting 20 to 20 frames per uh, 20 to 25 frames per second. With the RTX 2070, I was getting 125. This shows that, you know, when it comes to RTX, sure, the RTX card seems to do it better. On top of that, I thought I'd go and try out Crisis. Can it run Crisis? Can I get Crisis to work on Windows 10? That's a different one. I'm afraid I could not. However much I tried patching it and compatibilities and stuff like that, I just could not get Crisis to run, I'm afraid. Um, Seven Days to Die being a Unity game engine game. You'd think, yeah, that won't make too much of a difference because they were slightly buggy on themselves. As it turns out, with the GTX 1070, it was doing about 80%, uh, 80 frames per second on 100% GPU load. With the RTX, I was doing 127 frames per second, only about 80% uh, GPU load. So on that one, probably the processor holding it back, maybe a small margin, but it's an increase uh, of frame rate. So yes, the two games that became the disappointment was Far Cry 5 and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I would have thought it would have done more. Now if you ask him, yes, V-Sync was turned off for them because I was expecting to get past that frame rate. And I checked and checked and all the drivers installed, nothing I can do there. It was literally the CPU load going and Yeah, as you can tell, it didn't go quite like that. How was it with the cooling? Well, the thing just did not make a noise. I mean, half the games, it never reached 60 degrees to actually turn the fan on. And then when it did, it was like, what? where's the noise? <laughs> so as it comes with that, the MSI Gaming X GTX 27 Super is a card I would definitely say recommendable. I will point out, obviously, you need a good power supply, 650 watt minimum. It is basically 30 centimeters long, so make sure you've got case space. And if you CPU's just not up to scratch, keep in mind that certain games, it won't do much for you. It will just hold it back. But yes, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Do like and subscribe. It helps me out. This makes me happy knowing that people like watching my videos. And I'll catch you in the new year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Cheerio.